Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week, and let's get right into it. First, last week we talked about the drama that has started shooting, led by Lin Yi and Yu Shuxing. Shh, the king is hibernating. This week they started officially promoting it, so I'll put the poster up. Lin Yi is very busy because he's got a new drama coming up very soon, and we'll talk about it later. Then the Yu Ku web drama Pegasus, the drama version of the film Pegasus that I talked quite a bit about last week did air according to schedule and so far so good I'm very happy please keep going and I want this to be a good drama when it finishes which should be around the middle of March then let's talk about dramas that have gone live this week without scheduling pretty much airdropping and then a couple of other dramas that will show up soon first this week we had an airdropped drama on the 27th on platform ITE and Tencent Zichuan. English title Eternal Brotherhood. It's 24 episodes, period fantasy drama, based on an existing IP, led by Yang Xuwen, Liu Yunying, Zhang Mingen. The thing about this drama is first, it was actually shot quite a while ago, back in 2021. The second thing is, it's produced by the company Linghe, which is the company that did Ultimate Gnome, if you still remember that drama. From what I gathered, they shot about 48 episodes, but now it's too long for the 40 episodes policy, so they have to break it into part one and part two. And now they're airing the 24 episodes part one. The part two may not happen until at least half a year or even next year, which is not ideal for this type of drama. The even funnier thing about it, is it was produced by ITE and then a couple of other production companies, including Linghe. And now when it airs, it actually airs also on Tencent. They share the copyright. So Tencent would pay money to them or do some deal with them so that it's airing on IT and Tencent at the same time. And I'm pretty up to date with this drama too. It's actually a pretty good production quality standard period drama, but it does suffer from the fact that it's three years late. And if you look at Liu Yuning, Yang Xuwen, Zhang Mingen, and the way they are in the drama, you can tell it's three years ago them. It's not current them. The drama itself is okay. I don't think it's great, but it's not bad either. And I'll keep watching and see if it's worth talking about. As if airdropping is the most popular thing to do, on the last day of February 2024, we had an airdrop drama that also didn't announce prior to its showing up. It just showed up on IT again. 16 short episodes, second season of Tang Ren Jie Tang An, <laughs> Detective Chinatown 2. It's been how many years? I literally lost count. And it's still produced by Chen Sicheng, led by Qiu Zhe, who plays the character Lin Mo, who is tied to Wang Baoqiang's character in the film version as his student. This is the second season of this IP. The previous one, I really liked the first two thirds, didn't like the last case. This time it's 16 episodes, four cases, so four episodes per case. If you have almost forgotten about what is the character setup, what is the character background story, and then what's going on with the first season, you can rewatch a bit of season one to jog your memory and then go into this one. The drama airs three episodes on first day and then every day one episode following, so to finish the whole 16 episodes it takes about two weeks. I'll keep watching this one and if it's worth talking about again, I will talk about it. Then as I'm filming this video on Friday, March the 1st, first day of March, on Youku, the Lin Yi and Zhou Ye drama is airing. Like I said last time, it can happen tomorrow or half a year later. Clearly this time is more close to tomorrow. It literally happened exactly a week from when I filmed my last week's video. So I will try my best to check it out. Although right now on my hand, I have <laughs> suddenly three dramas I need to catch up with every day and... Oh, so I'll try my best and um, to see if this is a worth watching romantic contemporary drama. Then we need more Lin Yi clearly, or universe thinks we need more Lin Yi because on the coming March the 9th, another drama he leads is going to air on Tencent and CCTV8 satellite television. It's led by Lin Yi and Li Landi. I've talked about this project many times when they were filming it quite a while ago. Right now its Chinese title is 谢谢你温暖我, literally means thank you for warming me. The English title on drama list is Angels Fall Sometimes, and then it has an earlier English title called If There's Still Time Left. So until it airs, we shall see which official title they use, but if you don't remember, I'll remind you it is a contemporary 24 episodes, young adults romantic drama about a guy who has ALS. 
So get ready, it's gonna be filled with tears. Reminds me of that drama many years ago in Japanese drama land, the uh, A Leader of Tears, a film version. It also has the drama version. I think I've seen both of them. If the romance works, right? It, it's like high romance material. So let's see if this time Li Lan Di and Ling Yi can pull it off. Then we have quite a few dramas at different stages of production and I'll go through them as efficiently as possible because there are quite a lot. First, we've got a wrapped period fantasy drama that has released a lot of promotional material upon wrapping and that is the drama Bai Yue Fan Xin Moon Moonlight Mystic, led by Bai Lu and Ao Ruipeng. The drama has been in the making since end of last year, and obviously it will be one of those more follow dramas since it's led by people who are quite popular right now. Also, the director is none other than Big Light Mr. Zhu. But at least in the released material we've seen so far, he really reframed very much from using a lot of big light in the background this time. Looks okay, at least in the materials. It may still be filled with big light in the actual drama. It is a period fantasy drama with quite a bit comedy in it. The guy gets dubbed and the girl is not. So Bai Lu is using her own voice and then Ao Ruipeng is dubbed. I understand why they would dub Ao Ruipeng because Ao Ruipeng's Mandarin is pretty much Wang Hedi type. <laughs> Heavy with our local regional accent to the point that it doesn't work for period dramas. I am not the type of person who is so interested in fantasy period dramas anymore these days. And since it's Zhu being right, so I'll keep my expectation very, very low. Honestly, don't trust that guy, <laughs> okay, to put out a good drama. Then we have another new released trailer of the drama that although it hasn't said, it looks like it's gonna air anytime. They're so close to getting it ready and they've already put out multiple trailers over the last couple of months. And that is the contemporary drama Bai Se Gan Lan Shu, White Olive Tree, led by Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie. So get ready, you may see Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie in the drama sooner than you think. Then we have the licensing of a drama that many people have been waiting for. Yu Fengxin, Legend of Shen Li, second collaboration between Lin Gengxin and Zhao Liyin. So we still are not gonna get Yu Wenyue out of the lake, but at least we're gonna get another version of him taking care of a chicken who's actually a phoenix. And when it airs, it will be going live on both Mango Television and Tencent. Then we have quite a few dramas that have all started shooting during this week. People are definitely eager to get back to work after a big holiday. So first, we have a contemporary medical drama that has started shooting this week called Xin Ju Le Bu, literally meaning kind-hearted club. But I don't think that's going to be an official title. When it actually finishes shooting, they will pick one for their drama. It's led by Bai Ke and Xin Zhi Lei, about two people who work in the same hospital and they both go through personal relationship crisis, divorce or a boyfriend cheating, that type of thing, and then kind of get to know each other as colleagues. And I mean, it doesn't have to arrive at a romantic relationship conclusion, right? I hope it doesn't go down that very expected route. I am open to good medical dramas and I do love both of these two actors. I think they have very unique quality that I can't think of anyone else in Dramaland who can quite take their place. So fingers crossed, it's gonna turn out to be a great contemporary medical drama. And not so long ago, right after Chinese New Year week, I said, that the drama Piao Bai is shooting already and led by Guo Jingfei, Wang Qianyuan, Zhao Jinmai. This week, they've officially announced the project is a go and released official material. So you can take a look at the pictures. I'll just put them up here. Then we also have a drama called Xiao Yao that has started shooting this week. It is a period fantasy drama led by Tan Songyun and Hou Minghao. It's pretty much a xianxia story. I've looked it up seems that it's based on something that is very much like this story. If you watch a lot of anime and manga, you know what it is. But then the current version of the story that you can find in the synopsis seems to have changed quite a lot. I think the story would be between a human girl who has kind of complicated background and we'll find out what it is during the whole drama with the guy who is like the king of all demons type of situation. I think that would still be the basic setup. I tried to look it up and figure out exactly what's going on with this drama, but it's too complicated and I can't understand what's going on. But anyway, it's a period drama that's gonna be led by these two people and they are already shooting. One thing you can tell is Hou Minghao is very sought after and very busy because he literally just announced the uh, his poster and role in the drama that's 
directed by Guo Jingming. I talked about that last week, where everybody is photoshopped beyond recognition. Now he's shooting the new drama with Tan Song Yun out of one crew into another. Then we have another drama that has started shooting this week. I know. And this is a more proper serious drama called Ba Qian Li Lu Yun He Yue. Wouldn't have any official English title anywhere right now, and you can't find it on drama list. It's one of those heavyweight proper dramas. It's directed by the same director who directed Jue Xing Nian Dai. It's led by Wang Yang and Wan Qian. It will also feature other heavyweight actors such as Yu Hewei. And this drama is set during Japanese invasion, so this is a Kangzhan drama. And based on the synopsis, it looks like the type of drama that takes the angle of very ordinary small people. So it's a story from their perspective, talking about that whole very turbulent historical time. And as if that's not busy enough, we have another drama that has started shooting during this week. Yes, and it's again happening in my hometown, Chongqing. And this one is a Zhang Ruoyun one. It's led by Zhang Ruoyun and Ma Sichun, Xue Yuan Xiang Dui Lun, literally meaning the relativity or theory of relativity of blood or kingship. It's actually a thriller mystery drama. Uh huh. And it doesn't have an English title yet, and it's not even on my drama list. So people who are editing that website, you should put this up <laughs> on the site soon enough. It is a Tencent drama. Maybe it's gonna belong to the X categories of dramas that Tencent has been doing in recent years. They picked Chongqing again for a crime drama or thriller drama, suspense drama, mystery drama. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, it's a perfect city for murder. Then finally, yes, another drama. It hasn't officially started shooting, but it will soon because they officially announced Project Greenlight. People are all on board, and we are gonna start working on it very soon. It is a period revenge drama that's like the female version of Mei Changsu. The Chinese title is Zhang Xin, literally means palm, but the English title right now is quite sexy. Kill my sins. Ooh, okay. I like the title. Keep it. Please, please don't change it to anything vague enough but sexy enough. Like I said, it's a period drama. It's revenge. Our female lead character is somebody who had a former identity that got destroyed by something, and then many years later she comes back. Not so different from Ren Ruyi in A Journey to Love, and it's gonna be led by Liu Shishi and Dou Xiao. I've never ever pictured these two in the same drama. This one is produced by Yu Ku. And another thing that's interesting about it is it's done by the same team that produced Tang Chao Gui Shi Lu, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty. Same director and many other people on Tang Chao Gui Shi Lu is doing this drama. So if you have a little bit confidence in the Tang Chao Gui Shi Lu team, then this one may look quite promising. We have many Liu Shishi led period dramas to look forward to this year. We at least have the Fox Demon that's led by her and Zhang Yunlong, which I really really look forward to. And then this one, probably fastest this next year, this drama may come out. The Eighty Five Flowers. So flowers born around mid eighties. Actors are all coming back to their familiar battleground. Trying to show the younger actresses who is the boss. Yes, we're older than you, but you 一个都不能打 <laughs> It has that feeling of them.、Um, the 95s, even the 2000s actresses who are active and being now flowers are they're doing okay. But then the older veterans come back and decimate their battleground. Drama land has been、mm, for the last two decades, and not、mm, mm, mm, <laughs> so the older goddesses come back, and there are still goddesses. As audiences, you know, the more the merrier, and the nausier the merrier. Go fight your wars, and we're just gonna sit aside and watch dramas. So that should be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I'm New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.